All right, so back to this. Um, yeah, in the previous parts, uh, we actually fought and beat on time twice, actually, because after you beat him, um, this is probably the most disappointing part of the entire game. He actually has the name of the original dragon, and it's just Curon. And I don't know why I didn't even think of that. That would be some sort of theory that I would come up with where it's like, oh, yeah, it's just Curon, right? I mean, but no, I didn't think of that. Um, and yeah, it, it makes sense, to be honest, right? Because you call, when Curon fuses with Ivor Zephyrum or Reshram, it's just Curon Black, Curon right, White, right? So it makes sense that, you know, and given it's the literal husk of the original dragon, it would still be, you know, it would just be Kiram. So it's like, that, that, that would make the most sense out of anything. I didn't even have any ideas to, as to what it was before then, but I thought it was, it may have been implied and I'm just an idiot, but I don't know. So yeah, there's that. And then, oh my God, Gale stops the summoning by Zygarde, which it's still not explained how he even accomplished that. It, it literally is just the game stopping time because he's uh because the original dragon would be too powerful because he would become too powerful still my favorite character even though he's uh probably yeah even though he's left but um yeah and getting to that um yeah so he stopped time from summoning freaking die per in because in perfect zygarde so he stopped it by summoning perfect zygarde which again doesn't explain that but perfect zygarde domed mewtwo domed Zy Zekrom. Zekrom didn't die. I thought they died, but I thought I thought his perfect Zygarde literally killed those two legendaries because it, it hasn't been done before. It's not like it hasn't been done before, right? Per First of all, literally killed Cresselia. So Cresselia is dead. It's just dark right now. But um, yeah, so, but no, it didn't. It just knocked him out. And then it was going to kill Reshiram too, or it was going to knock out Reshiram, and then we intervened, caught Zygarde that's, that'll show Gale. Honestly, Gale's like the worst character in the entire game. So they deserve it. Um, they're lucky. And then they immediately start apologizing to Orion. And that was only because they no longer had Zygarde on their side, of course. So, and then they left and hopefully we never see them again. Um, but yeah, after that, um, Orion actually gave us, uh, Orion gave us Reshram, or Reshram turned into its Whitestone form. We gave it. Zekrom turned into its Blackstone form. We got that as well. Tane, he went back to perfection base to have one final conversation with Rukra before they part ways and he um, departs for the Kuria region, which is actually in the upcoming game or game in development Pokemon Azerite. So can't wait to see him there. I'll play that game, whether it be on my own or recording, but Tane is my favorite character. So can't wait to see that he's going to make an appearance in our game or he at least survived the entirety of this game. Because what's the kill count right now? Three? Um, Audrey died first. Zenith's dead, Kalreath is dead along with Zenith. Um, Yaren's MIA, uh, Persephone's still in, and the Darkrai call it still in the dream world. Uh, Damien Mold's still there as well. But um, yeah, so, and then yeah, Tane left. And then before he, but before he did leave though, and again, he was said he was going to join Team Vitreus, which is the team in uh, the uh, Kuria region. But before he left, he actually gave the um, instrument which he used as a power source to summon as the original dragon to Rukra. And their instrument, we got more details because all we knew is that it was some sort of music instrument. But now we know it's a blue flute and that's what he gave to Rukra. And Rukra, he knew what it was, Tane didn't, but Rukra did. And then Rukra, he didn't tell Tane, he just kicked him out, so he left anyway. But I'm pretty sure the blue flutes, whatever is used to summon Latios. So that'll be interesting to see how that comes into play. I'm pretty sure that's what's used to summon Latios, unless if I'm not mistaken, or maybe if, or in, if I'm an idiot or someone, I don't know. Maybe it's what's used to, no, Lugia is already, that's why I forgot, wait, Audrey literally summoned Lugia. Oh, still out, out, out for grabs, but yeah, I mean, so yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, now it's not so clear what direction the game is headed. Because um, before we were obviously on the storyline with, um, or we were finishing up uh, Tane's storyline, or we were finishing the storyline of the Perfection Call. But now it's like, I went back to a Pokemon Center and healed and nothing happened. So um, it doesn't seem like there's a predetermined or predestined, uh, or it doesn't seem like there's another, um, uh, what's it called, checkpoint for us to hit. So. Or did I heal? I think I did heal. I must have healed. Oh, wait. Why is Spicy Ace in front? Get in the back. 
Um, why is, okay, yeah. Because this was after we fought um, Tane and caught Zygarde, so. Yeah, we can talk to her. Uh, oh, yeah, and I showed off, I actually showed off the Reshiram, Zekro, Amanda, uh, Zygarde. And two of them had perfect ability. I think it was Zekro and Zygarde which had perfect. Like the literal, or not abilities, the literal best nature they could have, which is insane. They have shit Ivies, but I'd say nature is more rare than getting good Ivies. So that's honestly like, but yeah, we healed, and now there's no sort of set objective. That's the term I'm looking for. There's no real set objective for us. So, yeah, I mean, I have a couple ideas, though. I have a couple of ideas. I'm going to try and finish up the perfection call. Obviously, tane has gone. Like, he's left for Kuria. He's joined Team Vitreous. Like, that's kind of the end of his storyline. But the storyline for the perfection call isn't over, as Rukra still has his own. You know, he is the blue flu. He's still very much a threat. And he said he still has business to finish in Torm. And ultimately, there's still history to learn about, you know, between him and Sylvan. And ultimately, how he didn't always used to be how he was. And ultimately, what happened. I'm presuming it's that event. What event happened which turned him on this path, on this course. So I really want to try and finish that up. And I have a couple of ideas. I was thinking of going to... I'm thinking the first idea I had was to check out... Um, uh, perfection base but honestly I think what I want to do first is I want to go to um, the cave and see if um, the what's it called whatever timeless um, whatever if they have like anything so oh why is Jack by oh it's, it just looks so weird from the side oh not that side it looks so weird to come from that side he's literally just like floating but yeah I mean and then yeah the Zygarde cube I'm not going to look for all those Zygarde pieces I really couldn't care less um, yeah, so, oh, Repel still eager. all right. So yeah, I'm gonna go check out the Timeless. Um, I'm not sure if they have anything else to say. If not, I'm gonna try and, and I guess this makes sense because we may actually have completely wrapped up the storyline with the Timeless. Like we may not need to ever see them again. So where's the music? Okay, there we go. I was like, but yeah, so if that's the case, then, you know, we're off on our own. So it's like, yeah, I mean, I'm not even sure, like, we need to, yeah, given we got the crystal pieces back, I know I couldn't care less about the timeless at that point. All I really cared about them was because King Vesseran had the crystal pieces that we got, so, or that were rightfully ours, so, yeah, but besides that, um, I couldn't really care less, so, yeah, now it's kind of like, um, just, yeah, there's the Tesseract. So yeah, it's just going to check and see if there's anything left. If they've got nothing, then I assume we're done with the timeless this game. So yeah, and then yeah, obvious and then also following from that, as I was talking about, um, there's still some unfinished business left with Rukra. You know, the storyline of Tang concluded, but not the perfection call. Rukra still, again, he's still very much a threat. Like I said, he still has unfinished business in Torn, and he has the blue flu, which he knows what it is. And I'm pretty sure, again, it's Ladios, but um, I'm not sure what he's going to do with that, but um, even if it's not, it's something that he can use. So, yeah, there's that. And then again, there's still, I, I'm more interested, I'm almost more interested in the history between him and Professor Sylvan. And then ultimately what caused him to end up the way he was. Because like, ultimately, yeah, Gale tried using that technique. Oh my God, I forgot there was rock climb here. Gil tried to use that technique to stall Tane, but that technique may legitimately work on Rukra, given, again, okay, what's this TM? Steel Wing, that's pretty interesting. But yeah, given that ultimately, we know Rukra didn't used to always be the way he was. He used to be friends with Sylvan, you know, used to be, um, uh, what's it called? Used to be a member of the Sciences Club. So ultimately, some sort of event, something set him on this path on this sort of road, so, or route. So it, I'm, I'm genuinely curious to see, you know, what that may be about. So, yeah, and then we're back in the secret um, uh, timeless base or whatever, or we're going to the home of the timeless. And there's still the, the Hoopa ring should still be to the right. So we can access the void gauntlets. Um, I'm not even sure if we'll go back. I'm not even sure if we'll go to the void gauntlet at all for the rest of this game. So it's like, yeah, I'm not even sure if that's necessary, but I'm not even sure the timeless, I'm not even sure the timeless are necessary. Like we may, they may legitimately not. 
Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad I came back here because the door to the home of the timeless is gone. <laughs> I mean, because this is how this room originally was when we caught Mew. There was no door here. There was no cave here. But when we came back and fought the Timeless, that was, and that led to the home of the Timeless. But now the entrance is gone. So, I, yeah, I think that's a safe bet that, you know, um, that wraps up, that concludes the Timeless, and that there is no um, Timeless, or we won't be seeing the Timeless for the rest of the game, given we literally can't access their home. So, to be fair, that's kind of what King Vesteran implied, but I wanted to double check. So, oh my God, that's wild. So the, the home of the timeless is no longer accessible and it's literally gone. So there's no more cave entrance. I'm glad I came back. That was, uh, that was, that was funny. I was kind of secretly hoping that that would be the case, but I thought if anything, we would go back and then talk to everyone and they would, wouldn't say anything different, but yeah, the cave entrance is literally gone. So it's, oh my God, one last escape rope. I didn't use this while we were actually, um, finding the time. Are you kidding me? It doesn't lead us out. Wait, hold on. How do we get that Pokeball? I thought we needed Rock Climb to get it. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Are those rocks? Are those rocks rock smashable? I'm gonna feel like an idiot if they are. Okay, no. Wait, but then how do we? I don't know. But yeah, maybe. May, hold on. Oh no, we can't. I was gonna say, what if we use Tesseract and then come back up here? But maybe, maybe that is the thing. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. So the timeless. Yeah, I thought if anything, we would just be able to go back to the home of the Timeless, talk to them. They wouldn't say anything different. King Vesteran may maybe say something different, but yeah, I thought that would be it. But no, the, the home of the Timeless is literally gone, no longer accessible, along with the Timeless. So that wraps up the storyline of the Timeless, concludes the Timeless. Um, yeah, that's actually hilarious. That's just straight up disappeared, but yeah, so I guess now... So now that that's gone, that was the one idea I had. So or that was the one thing I had. So now that that's gone, um, yeah, I still want to try and wrap up whatever's with uh, whatever is going on with. Um, uh, we still, again, we still have unfinished business with Rukra, with the perfection, or with Rukra, and the even though again, Tain's storylines over the perfection cultism. So I'm gonna try and deal with that. Uh, my first bet is to go see a uh, perfection base. I'm not entirely sure. Like, I don't think that'll change. I think it'll be empty, but um, it's just, it's just, you know, a test or it's just an attempt. So yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, because that's where we last saw Tain and Rukra. So yeah, let's dive here into the black market. Um, yeah, I mean, let's see. And then we'll, um, yeah, uh, surface from here. So yeah, let's see. And then the black, oh my God, the black market. I remember when we were coming through here the first time and we fought Tane for the first time. Damn, that felt like so long ago. Yeah, that felt like, that was like, yeah, damn, this, that was, these Pokemon are still fighting. Yeah, that felt like so long ago. That was like, Jesus. Yeah. Oh shit, hold on. For a second, I was like, wait, for, cause I thought that was just void, but no, that's actually water. So, yeah, I guess it's not terrible. And here's perfection base. Oh my god, perfection! That's actually a real. The the cult of easily the cult of perfection easily my favorite. That's just such a genius idea to have. Base, yeah, they're definitely my favorite cult. Okay, the blockers are still in the way, so it probably hasn't changed. I'm not even sure we'll need to come down here for the rest of the game to our perfection base. So yeah, I'm not sure we'll need to do that for the rest of the game. Yeah, it's still like this. Yeah, so I don't know. That's so now the next part I had that I had planned or that I could uh, check out though was um oh uh, what do you call it? Uh the abandoned laboratory upstream from Mechi Town. Because again, Rukra said he was gonna move, basically. He's like he was gonna move his base of operations because it was there was no longer a use for him to use the old perfection base given that you know it got exposed or whatever. Or, um, so yeah, and the only other idea I could possibly have is that. So yeah, and granted, because I, I specifically remembered it. I didn't remember it was Mechi Town, but I did remember the abandoned laboratory because it was also talked about in one of the books in um, 
Utira Library, how, you know, experiments that took place there and ultimately how like it failed and caused like them to flee. And I think it specifically did reference it as like perfection call experiments. So yeah, I mean, so yeah, we're going here. This is kind of the last place I have or the last idea I have um, as to where Rucro would potentially be. Maybe it's something to where, you know, after I complete some other quest, Rucro will pop up again. But um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, we're gonna go just go up here. Um, come on. Oh, I can't even, for whatever reason, I was like, wait, what about, okay, so here we are. Let's see. Yeah, let's go up here. Repel, still repel. Uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, there's a Zygarde. Wait, what? Keep out. There's a Zygarde. Give me that shit. Yeah, I was like, oh, wait, there's, oh, so there is actually a location for um, uh, Zygarde uh, cells or cores. And yeah, this is the abandoned laboratory that I was talking about. Um, anything up here? No. Oh, oh, sh that, I didn't see that suit. Wow, that, that's kind of useful. That It blended in with the flowers. But yeah, this is the uh, abandoned laboratory. So, and this is where we know, again, we have more information on this from the, um, the doors locked and rusty. Nobody's been here for a long time. That's the one place I assume Rucro would be. Okay, I didn't mean to click. I clicked W instead of Q. And look, we're, we're just completely off map now. So even though we know we're upstream, probably like around here. But yeah, so actually, yeah, so that's like, yeah, I mean, that was the last, that was the only our place I could think Rucro would be. And again, we know more about that place due to the one book in the Utira library detailing the experiments that happened there. And I think they were a perfection experience. So, but yeah, given that, that, um, cause I, I really did want to try and finish up or wrap up any unfinished business with Rucro, but it doesn't seem like that's an option, at least for now. You know what I might try? I don't, hold on. I want, I'm actually, I'm actually curious. I want to go through the, um, I want to go through the void gauntlet. I want to go through the void gauntlet. Reason being, um, that was, well, A, I also want to test out, because I really did want to try to finish, um, I really did want to try to finish, or to wrap up A on finish business with Rucro, but that doesn't seem to be an option, so. A, I want to try and test the, um, what's it called? The Tesseract theory to see if I can actually get that on um, Pokeball. Or shoot, do I, hold on, do I serve? Because I do, that, that kind of is bothering me that there's just a Pokeball there that we seemingly can't get. So, and yeah, here isn't what leads to it. Like, so, but maybe if we can like Tesseract back in time and somehow try and come back up, that could be an option. But if not, um if not then i i can go through the void gauntlet one more time just to see if there's anything there because again i doubt we'll use that location um at all or at any other point during this game just because that was solely kind of for the nyx um or the uh garatina cult sort of uh arc so with uh nyx and uh all the garatina cultists so but yeah, and I was thinking, yeah, what I could do is I could actually do something like this. Maybe this is how we end up, uh, maybe this is how we get to it. Because I really do want to try and get that. Because that's just, it's going to bother me so long as I um, don't have it. So, oh yeah, I used the escape rope, so that's gone. Um, Yeah, so let's see, quartz flute. Uh, let's use a uh, tesseract. So let's do that. Um. And again, we'll see if that's an uh, option. So let's see. Obviously, we can't continue down that way. Oh, so no, it isn't an option. Yeah, look, we can't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I stand corrected. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I didn't. Shoot, we, yeah, we may be able to. Oh, wait, look, there's a fuck ton. Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. Ah, uh, yeah, that's blocked off. That's why I was like, damn it. Because I didn't actually notice we could do that, but. Yeah, so that's blocked off, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I was kind of hoping we could do that. And then ultimately, um, what that would do is that would, uh, is that we could get that. I don't know how we get that Pokeball then. So that's just kind of like, oh, well. But yeah, I do also want to check out the Void Gauntlet one last time. So to be honest, I probably should have done this in the opposite order. I should have done, I should have looked for Rufus places first, but I did want to see if the time was had a, uh, anything left and we can't even access the home at the time once anymore so 
that's a clear no. Um, so yeah, after this, um, I'll go through the Void Gauntlet, and um, there likely won't be anything there. So after that, after I just go through the Void Gauntlet, I'll go check out um, the Dream World. Because again, there's a lot of unfinished story left in the Dream World. So just putting it that way. Yeah, that's where I got, that's where I'm heading off to next. So to wrap up any unfinished business there with uh, Persephone, the Dark Ride Call, and Damien and Maul as well. So. And there's a whole another area of the dream world that we have yet to explore because we needed rock climb for it. So it's like, it's almost perfect. Oh uh, yeah, let's go in here. Yeah, there we go. Void Gauntlet, we're back here. Again, this is the world between worlds. I wonder if there's, there may, there, I, there probably is some rock climb stuff here too, which is gonna be nice. But yeah, we just need to go through the uh, whole Void Gauntlet. So just don't fall off, <laughs> don't. Don't fall into the void. So this is the correct path, right? Oh, uh, we already, uh, we heart swap with that already because we had heart swap by this point. So yeah, I'm just going through it all. I wonder if there's like, cause uh, hold on. Yeah, we captured Garatina. Well, no, there is no Mega Garatina. It's Primal Garatina. So yeah, I was gonna say if there's like a Mega Garatina right or whatever, but yeah, that doesn't exist. And there's already Primal. We can get um actually, cause we have the Grisius Orb. We can get both, um origin or primal but it obviously primal is the better primal is much better i mean omni type like are you kidding me that's such an overpowered ability it literally like is immune to like eight different types like it's insane like it's yeah it's just it, it's insane and the other half it's uh what's it called it's um yeah the other half of types it is uh uh it resists so it's like yeah, cave of origin. Yeah, it resists. So there's only one type that's super effective against it, it is rock. And not like rock types are actually fairly rare. So yeah, let's see. Who's a uh, Pokemon village? And yeah, so this is the place in um uh is this the village in um what's it called? X and Y? Where you find Mewtwo? I don't know, maybe. That bothers me that we go down on those stairs. So I don't know. And there's always the um, remnants of the uh, Tesseract or whatever. What? Oh, there's a Zygarde core. Give me that. There's Zygarde cell. What's it doing in the freaking um, Void Gauntlet? I don't know. Freaking, it's not even what, it's not only watching over this world, but freaking literally like the entire universe. So. Maybe there's one like per location. Oh, we can actually waterfall at this. Oh, we can't. Wait, we still don't have waterfall? I don't know. We'll probably get that at some point. Um, I'm, I don't even know. What do you mean? We're probably not going to get it. The game's like basically done. So unknown dungeon. Okay, it's going here. I was like, why, why, did, why did it lag? See, so Pokemon Tower. Ooh, there's a... Um, uh, don't step on that. Uh, let's step... Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot that's what it was. I was like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna step on it, see what happens. Let's see, let's go up here. I forgot, Jesus Christ, I forgot how long this, uh, I forgot how long the Void Gauntlet portion of the um, game was. Like, and we were we were fighting freaking uh, Giratina cultists at the same time, so. Yeah, Citadark Isle. Yeah, we were literally like, um, there's a uh, Meloetta notes. Um, yeah, I completely forgot how long this part of the game was. Let's see, do we actually go up here? No, we don't. I was, I was, I was wrong. We go down here. Let's see. There we go. We're going to continue. So. Let's see, Jesus Christ, how many more are there? Giant Chasm. I think Giant Chasm was the uh, last one, though. And again, this is where our Curum is, so. Oh, oh yeah, there's, hold on, there's a rock climb. There's a rock climb here, so let's do that. Here, let me get uh, this. DNA Splicers. So, hold on, I can actually make, well, no, shoot, I don't have Curum. I have Zekrom and Reshiram. I was like, 
I can make out the cure. I need to get Kiram now. So, uh, hold on. Yeah, I need to get a Kiram. So, I don't know how. Hold on. Can we? I'm, I want to kind of explore this place more. Hold on. Is this where it ends? No, it doesn't. Can we explore? Because we may be able to. Um, I'm not sure where we acquire Kiram, if at all, this game. Because presumably. Okay, it actually ends there. Because presumably, um, what's it called? Rukra still has it. That would be my best guess. Because Tain obviously needed it for the summoning, but they kind of bounced the Pokemon between themselves. And now with Tain gone, he would no longer have a reason to have it. He may, you probably even gave Mewtwo back to Rukra too. So, oh no, because that's, I was going to be like, if we could try and get Kiram, but no, the um, Chasm's, or the, uh, what's it called? The portals at the literal entrance of the chasm. So yeah, that's a negative on finding Kiram, at least there, but yeah, damn. And then, yeah, okay. Let's see, Max Rappel. Um, and yeah, here's another portal. Okay, can I enter please? There, I was, I, was I going around? Sphere Pillar. Was there um rock stuff here? I'm not sure if there was um rock climb here. There was. Oh shoot, I already wait, what? Okay. I don't know. Maybe there's a maybe there's a legendary okay, here's a Zygarde. So maybe there's a legendary Pokemon that appears there later on. Give me that. Let's see. At least I've made it so I won't need to go back to the um the Void Gauntlet in order to get all the Zygarde cells. So Hall of Legends. Yeah, so I've got all the Zygarde cells from uh, the Void Gauntlet, so that's at least nice. So Yeah, let's see. And then it's up here. So All right, yeah, and then that's that. Let's see. Finally, we're at the throne of the Hegemon. Jesus Christ. Damn, that took forever. What? Oh yeah, for whatever reason, I thought those were something, but those are just uh, uh, those are just like I don't even know what those are. And there's Giratina Horn. Let's quick save Horn. Is there? I was like, what? There's just like some lone Zygarde cell. Well, I mean, we've been finding them in the Void Gauntlet. Don't know why they're here, but yeah, and there's nothing here. So yeah, I just figured, you know, I, I'm never gonna. Oh shoot, I don't have an escape rope now. God damn it. Oh, well, yeah, I was like, damn it, I don't have an escape rope, so I literally need to manually leave. <sighs> that's, that's pain, that's pain. Yeah, I literally wasted 30 minutes in this episode. I literally haven't accomplished a single thing yet. I guess it, can I, shoot, can, oh yeah, I can. I was like, can I even leave from here? Yeah, I can. So what was it? Um. Yeah, so... Yeah, what was it? We were just bouncing around, but yeah. So the time, because again, we don't really know. Um, we don't have a set objective now. So it's kind of, you know, this game's whatever we make it. And I do want to wrap up the story. Like that's my main, um, that's sort of my main goal as of now. And I assume there's still home. Can we actually walk? Damn it, no, we can't. So I need to do this. But yeah, I want to wrap up the story. And there's still a story left to be had with Moocroft. So there's still unfinished business with, oh my God. There's still unfinished business with Rukra. So I assume there's still stuff with him. Tane's done. Like we wrapped up Tane's storyline. So he's gone. And obviously his was the first kind of post-game storyline to wrap up. So, but again, now that, you know, we have no kind of idea where Rukra is, we're going, we're heading back to the dream world uh, because there's a lot of story to be um, wrapped up there. A lot of unfinished story there. You know, Persephone's still there. The entire Dark Ride cult's still there. Damien and Maud are still there, for God's sakes. Um, yeah, I mean, we still need to wrap everything up with them. And, yeah, I know the entrance to the dream world is ultimately in, um, what's it called? It's in, uh, oh, that's just, for whatever reason, I thought that was Tane. But, yeah, um, the entrance to the dream world is in Perfection Base. So, or not Dark Ride Base. The, their shape force base. I remember back when um with Yarn's conversation with uh Persephone and when he talked about destroying the shape force base. Because again, the Dark Ride cult's easily the weakest cult. Like he Yarn could have really accomplished that if he wanted to. But yeah. And obviously Yarn 
Yaron, like, he's just MIA. Like, we don't know what's up with him. We don't know where he is. I There's still unfinished story with him, and I assume there will be some, um, what's it called? I assume there will be some post game with him at some point. But maybe I'd check out Helios. Uh, yeah, honestly, what I could do is I could go back to Helios and check out um, check out the J Tower. So that feels stupid. But I sh can I fly from the top? I'm pretty sure I can fly from the top of the J Tower. So I'll do that. I don't know. I'm kind of grasping straws at this point. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, grasping straws, wasting time. But yeah, I am kind of a. Uh, I do want to wrap up the story. So yeah, just go north. Yeah, here's the uh, gym, so. Well, I guess, hold on. Did we go in here? I think we did go in here because we found uh, East's Will. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no, yeah, we already did go in here. Well, I guess something may have, I don't know. I'm, like, kind of hoping that uh, I'm kind of stalling going to the Dream World just because I know when I go there, um, I know when I go to the Dream World, I'm just going to be there for a while just because of how much story there is. So that's kind of, like, yeah, I kind of want to try and do everything before then. Um, so, yeah, again, Yaren's just MIA. There's unfinished story uh, with him. So there's still the Chansey. This is where I wonder if East, no, because we picked up East well, despite having already given it to the, um, uh, who is it? Despite having already given it to the one lawyer in uh, Rogan Town, I think it was. Um, yeah, let's see. And then what was it? We found the uh, Tesseract uh, here. So, yeah, it looks like there's nothing. Are you kidding? I can't fly from up here. That was just a complete waste of time. But yeah, no, okay, now go into the dream world. No exceptions. <laughs> I wasted too much time. I, I just, again, I kind of wanted to test everything because I really think, I really think, yeah, now there's no real set objective, but I really think what we need to do is go to the dream world. I think that's kind of what, because obviously, because, okay, let's put it this way. I'll show when, um, I'll show when we, um, uh, what's it called? when we uh, get out and we can actually fly. So let's see. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm not going into the basement. I already went through perfection base. Um, yeah, I don't even care at this point about the repels. So yeah, here's what I wanted to show. Okay, all right, so look at the map. The only other place we can visit on the overworld is Mist Island, which I think if anything, we'll just have legendaries. Um, in the, uh, what's it called? In the Holland region, we can continue on there, but I think that would only have deltas. Granted, Nora's there, but I think that would only have deltas. I think the game's really kind of, even though there's no set objective, I think the game's really kind of implying we go to the dream world because there still is, um, well, A, we can find the dream world, and B, there's still unexplored regions of the dream world. So, yeah, I mean, that's why it's like, Oh my God, we're going back to Talonar Town. Remember when we just started the game and we were here? Oh my God. Uh, oh, let's talk to Sylvan. Let's talk to Sylvan before we head out. Because again, I assume we'll spend a decent amount of time in the dream world, given just how much story there is to wrap up there. And I really think that's kind of where the game would imply we have to go next. Yeah, hold on. Can I get that last Delta? Still can't believe you beat Rukra and the Elite Four. Oh yeah, because she was... She was there, and she was the only other one who knew Rukro was champion. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Loved about, uh, no? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. This wall contains Delta Bulbasaur. Can I take it? Because we know Tane had uh, the other Delta. So, yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm actually, no, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight on um, Sylvan. Hold on. Let me pull up her, uh, let me pull up her page. Let's see. Sylvan. So, Sylvan Insurgents. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I'm, no, I'm going to fight her. I'm going to fight her. Um, yeah, so let's see. Uh, oh, we shoot. We actually fight her at the beginning. But yeah, hold on. So let me see if my team can stack up against her. Okay, yeah. So yeah, let's actually fight her then. Yeah, hold on. I actually want to fight her. So that's why I was like, um, I yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I don't actually visit the Dream World in this episode. Maybe I'll save that for the next episode. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Okay, no, that's the Gym Leo theme. An error just popped up. But yeah, obviously, you know, it's fine. Professor Sylvan, and again, yeah, this is the Gym Leader theme. So yeah, I mean, it, it's look at the background. It's literally just like a living room. 
It's a Jolteon. Okay, Jackbox is Earthquake. This is a non-issue. Thunder, that wouldn't even do anything if it hit. Like, oh, oh, maybe not shit. Jackbox may die. That's why I'm like, okay, yeah, that didn't do anything. I was like, I, I just, like, gems, they just kind of, like, freak, they just freak me out. So, yeah. Shoot, hold on. I wonder if our team's the same on every difficulty. Okay, wow, that actually didn't help. Wait, what? Okay, she does. Her team's the exact same on every difficulty because it doesn't even show the difficulties. It just shows her team depending on what starter you pick. That'll give a hint to um, uh, what may be to come. Okay, that's a very bad switching on her part. Um, really? Oh, but this is gonna kill it though. So, are you kidding? At least it doesn't have a nice gem anymore. So I guess Jackbox dies here. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, she used... So look, that didn't even recover all its HP. Are you kidding? That thing literally just has slightly above 200. Yeah, we're just going to have her waste all four stores and use on um, fire punches over and over. So to be honest, I pro I'm kind of an idiot. I probably should have used a drain punch, but again, it wouldn't have dealt as much damage. So Glaceon, uh, who's super... Well, Cleaver, but I don't want... I want to stay away from Cleaver. Um... Uh, it has Shadow Ball, so I can't switch Endemics. Um, don't want to switch, can't switch in Sandman, can't switch in Demon. Spicy Ice, I can switch in. Spicy Ice has, uh, Moon Blast, so that would actually be, that would actually, can't, yeah, Spicy Ice actually counters this thing pretty well. Or not Moon Blast, Flash Cannon, so, yeah. There we go. And Spicy Ice counters the rest of her team pretty well, actually, so that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, so Spicy Ice is going to gain some experience this match, so. Yeah, Sylveon, um, except for this one, but uh, we also have uh, Thunderbolt, which is our stab attack, and we're also like 15 levels above. Are you kidding? This shouldn't deal that much. Yeah, that's why I'm like, Spicy Ice is super specially defensive and has the leftovers, so let's see. Hyper Voice, that shouldn't deal that much either, so it's not even, are you kidding? Yeah, I was going to be like, it's not even stab. Oh, I'm an idiot. It has Pixelate, so that's its fairy type attack. I keep forgetting that's Sylveon's ability, so, yeah, that's, like, I don't know, so, yeah, let's see, um, Vena, and this is, um, uh, yeah, so this is what a Delta Venusaur looks like, we, we were never able to see it, though, because that was the one starter that was not used, hold on, let's see, Psycho Call, what's its mega ability, Hubris, when a Pokemon with Hubris causes another Pokemon to fade through direct damage, its special attack raises by one state. So it's the, um, okay, so it's the um, opposite of um, Moxie. Okay, yeah, so it's basically the, uh, it's the um, equivalent of, it's the special attack equivalent of um, Moxie. So what about a regular Psycho Call? Oh, Psychic type moves. So, yeah. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, it is the, um, yeah, so it's the Moxie equivalent for special attack. Okay, and this thing is um okay, I picked the wrong. Damn, she has ass moves on her Delta Charizard. So that's damn shame, but yeah, this thing's what? Fairy Psychic? Shoot, can we even touch this? Fairy Psychic. Flash Cannon Hold Is Steel two times effective against Fairy? I don't remember. I know poison is. Is steel? Steel is. So yeah, we're gonna use um uh flash cannon here, so. Here we go. I don't think this, it only has Psychic and Moon Blast, so, and I don't think those will kill, so. Damn, what the fuck is that? The sprite on the, um, uh, wiki looks different, but I guess they just redesigned it, so. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll two-shot it easy, so. Call in mind, that won't make a difference, because this Flash Cannon will still kill, and it doesn't have leftovers here, so. That was really a mistake. It should have used an attack, but. Or even use uh, Moonlight, but obviously it's not, um, it wasn't damaged at the time, so, yeah, it's dead. Let's see, yeah, Spicy Ice is honestly just going to sweep through her entire team, so, yeah. Yeah, there's Vaporeon, uh, Thunderbolt, let's see, just kill it. Get out of here, die. Uh, crit not needed. Um, she only has one left, right? I think she's on her last one now, so... Yeah, Spicy Ice literally just swept through a whole team, so I guess, sorry, Professor Bud. It is what it is, you know. Uh, she knows we're the champion and the auger. 
Well, I guess the, no, we're not even the champion anymore because they're sending in a replacement champion. So, yeah, I mean, we'll have to challenge the Elite Four. That shouldn't do anything. We'll have to challenge the Elite Four again at some point. So, yeah, that's like, yeah. So we'll do that when the time comes. But I think I think we tried training with the story first because I couldn't even beat the Elite Four in hard mode like normally. So, or I could barely do so. But, um, yeah, that's why I'd rather do... Oh my god, this gives errors first sprite. I don't know what it is, but yeah, let's see. That was fantastic. I'd like to reward you for that. You see, I've really done all the research I can do on this Pokemon. I'd like you to take care of it. I feel like you'd be the best caretaker possible for it. And that's Delta Bulbasaur. That's for what it is. Well, isn't it obvious? It's the third Delta Pokemon, the one that Rucro left, that neither knew you nor Damien took. Delta Bulbasaur. I think you'll be able to take care of it better than I can. Nice. Uh nope. Someone's PC. Box one. Nice, we got that too. Oh my god, I was glad I came here. Honestly, so and yeah, is that her last line? Check up on higher Pokedex. Let's see. Um, there are all the normal expected Pokemon. Then there's every Delta Pokemon from Delta Wolves so onwards. Don't worry about most of the ones in between. Let's see. Uh sure. I'm curious. I've caught 83. That's actually a decent amount. Okay, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, but it's in my PC. I don't know. So that was definitely worth. Um, yeah, wow. So I never, I, I, could, I just came to, I didn't assume we'd be able to do anything else with the professor, but I just came to stop by. So that's like, yeah, I guess there's that. Um, yeah, so I actually want to check out the, um, obviously we have the, uh, uh, we have the item in our party, but I want to check out the, uh, what's it called? The, I want to check out the uh, Pokemon itself. So yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, so let's look at that. Let's see, let's do that. Um, someone's PC, uh, move. So here's the uh, Delta Bulbasaur, level seven. So this is the exact Pokemon we would have received if, um, this is the exact Pokemon we would have received if, um, if we picked it up on, uh, what's it called? If we chose that in the very first part, this is the exact Pokemon we would have received. It's literally the same level we receive it as well. Uh, quirky, uh, find Ivy's ass. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, this is literally the exact Pokemon we would have had if we picked it up in the first part. That's wild. And yeah, fairy types I have are here just because uh, fairy types, Dr. Brown. Just because fairy types are kind of useless for me. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep this all the way at the uh, left. Because again, I already have a um, fairy type. Uh, so yeah, I'm not using fairy types. So four Pokemon we've used five. Yeah, five are legendary box. But yeah, so now honestly, I kind of don't want to. Um, I don't want to end the. I don't want to end to the distortion world just yet, just because it's kind of too late for this part. So, but yeah, I mean, and I'm obviously not going to challenge the elite four again. However, there's one thing I know we can do. There's one thing I know that we can do. There's one thing that we can do. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of wild. Um, first things first, I'm going to deposit Cleaver in the PC. Yeah, this is going to be kind of wild. And I would have never been able to guess this or figure this out otherwise. But I'm going to show you all. So, yeah. Yeah, let's go in here. This is the box of Pokemon I've used. Uh, yeah, throw Cleaver in here. But, um, yeah, so, yeah. I'm, this is, this, this, it really is wild. Oh, what did I just do? Oh my God, I clicked a button on uh, I actually clicked the get help button. But yeah, this is wild. Like I'm, I'm, I have no other words other than this is wild, what I'm about to do. And again, I never would have been able to guess otherwise until I read up on it. So if you remember the human calculator, this is him. Um, yeah, so he can actually calculate any equation. So I'm going to do a couple things with him. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Human calculator, I'm the smartest person alive. Would you like me to perform a calculation for you? So you can pick anything, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Um, so I want to test a couple of things. I want to test this. Okay, this is faster. I want to see if, I don't, I want to see if, uh, what the largest possible number he can calculate is, and that is this. Um, let's see, that's 99,980,001. However, the, I, I just want to see that because that's the highest number you could get doing that. But there's something special you can do. 
there's something special you can do. Put and if given we clicked on the vision, you probably know where this is going. Pick any number for the first one, and then the second number, and then yeah, um, there's a script error. So obviously my screen's not shared because the game crashed. But um, yeah, there's that. However, there's more to that. Um, there's more to that. So yeah, there is more to that. And that, and obviously, I think I actually think we it automatically saves at the uh, human calculator. Yeah, and he does your previous calculation, which is also partially why I did the uh, super large number. But I also wanted to see just what the highest calculation would be. But yeah, so there's that. However, now we can do something. We need to find the, um, we need to find the, uh, okay, really? Sure, I'll just be on Repel 24 seven. I don't care. We need to find the peak of taxi guy. So here he is. Uh, let's quick save. Yeah, so save game, uh, save file. Yeah, so there's this. We need to click on him, uh, peak of taxi guy, Amolga taxi. And even though we've been taking the Pika taxi, uh, this time we're going to take the Amolga taxi. Uh, Q and W and T and Y to zoom in and out. So yeah, we can move around. So that's pretty nice. Going between those guys. Hold on, can I land here? Jesus Christ, Dev Island. Oh shoot, uh, there's, hold on. How far can you actually go? Oh, wait, shoot, wait, you just loop back around? That's actually pretty cool. Hold on, wait a second. World Islands, we've already been there. Um, yeah, wait, so wait, what the fuck? Okay, this is wild. Hold on, this is wild. Yeah, there's actually, yeah, this is wild. Okay, yeah, there's Stormy Seas. Yeah, use that max your file. There's Stormy Seas. Um, yeah, that's wild. So it actually loops around. Fuck the Pokemon, I don't want to encounter them. So yeah, it actually just loops around. That's wild. Yeah, wow, it just does loop around. Cause wait, crossroads? Wait, where the fuck are we? Am I lost? This isn't the region. Is this the region? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. No, this is the region. I'm an idiot. Yeah. So Rezai Desert, yeah. So there's Rezai Desert. Uh, the crossroads is a part of the region. I just thought I literally just went into another region. Give me a repel. Actually, no, I don't. That I'm just wasting repels. So yeah, here is um here is the one island that we don't have access to, or that we need a rock climb to get to. Um, here's Telnor Town. Uh, there's Telnor Town, Shade Forest. Um, yeah. So we're just going around the entire map at this point, just because I want to see it, or I want to show. Here's a Pokemon League. Is that a freaking what the hell Pokemon is that? Is that, what Pokemon is that? Is that a Delta Drifloom? Why is it red? Yeah, so anyway, here's the Elite Four. Here's the uh, champion, the Pokemon League. But yeah, I actually didn't know that, Um, okay, there's something there that we'll go to. Uh, yeah, this this is what I wanted to get to. Um, yeah, that's why I wanted to get to uh, that area, but we are going to check that out later just because I'm actually interested in Dev Island. I never knew that that was a part of this game. So there actually literally is an island called Dev... Oh, wait, what? And where the fuck was Dev Island? Because we literally just crossed that earlier. So, oh my God. Why is this thing so rough? Okay, get out of here. I'm not catching. 105? Excuse me? Bitch, I swear to God, if I can't run. Are you kidding me? We're... <sighs> Why am I even doing this? Okay. Now be careful, so... But where was Dev Island? Because like I legitimately did not know that's a thing, Dev Island. So that's like, wait, hold up. So we'll visit that too. We'll visit that too. Oh my God. This is, um, wait, where's this? Oh, that's, hold on, it's Celine City. I thought that was Alpha Temple, but that's the gym. So yeah, I mean, 
what is it? So yeah, now we're going around. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to show something and it's that messy glitch of textures. Because at first I thought, um, I saw a weird texture here. I saw a weird texture somewhere. Yeah, there's a weird texture here, but I think that's just a legitimate bug in the houses. Or I think that's Sonata track. That's Sonata tracks. So yeah, however, after you divide by zero, there's a messy glitch of textures on the map. Don't. Yeah, after you divide by zero, there's a messy glitch of textures on the track. This island we can't slither forest. Oh, so we can actually land here. But I'll just make my way there via land. So wait, what? Town or town. And that is the island we can travel to, right? Yeah, I think that is. Or wait, no, it's not. So yeah, that's Mist Island. Then where the fuck is... So this is another island. So there's Dev Island and Slither Force. We'll get there eventually. However, I told... I said that, oh my god. Get out of here. And there's like... Is that like a freaking Delta Drift Loom? I've never seen one that color. Or shiny? I don't know. But yeah. Um, I said, so ultimately, you see this, uh, that garbage up there. Um, if you divide by zero on the, and I took long because I wanted to explore the uh, sore, I just wanted to explore the sore feature. So now I figured out Dev Island and uh, uh, Withered Island. Or what was that island thing? Or like, I don't know, whatever, the other island. But um, yeah, that's not the main point. Those are just two hidden lo other hidden locations. If you divide by zero, uh, this glitch of uh, mess appears right here, so, but you can go into it. Hopefully this doesn't break the game. And yeah, there's no data here. Uh, yeah, so this is just, you know, life after you divide by zero. And uh, you may not notice it at first. Obviously there's, oh, it still has the uh, music for, um, what's it called? Uh, it still has, hold on, can we go off the edge? No, it still has the music for, um, the Void Gauntlet. However, in case you didn't notice it, there's something right in front of us, a part of the jumbled mess. And that is, I probably shouldn't save the game here. This is probably going to break the game. Yeah, that's why I'm like, in case you haven't seen it yet, just look right in front of us. That is not a jumble of text. That is an entity that uh, you have to encounter via dividing by zero and traveling here. So in case you haven't there it is, missing no level 80, which Gen 1 reference, um, but yeah, I mean, we're going to catch it. Um, you can legitimately do that this game. I don't know what type, because I'm pretty, it's what, bird type? I don't even know what that would be weak to, so good thing I saved right before. Let's just get it down. Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, so what if, I, I probably broke the game by trying to reload in there. Um, yeah, but this is something you can do. This is something you can do. Um, yeah, we'll check out the other islands at some later points, just because I don't know what's there. But this is, I knew this was something that you could do. So there's missing now. Um, yeah, level 80. Bird type, um, I don't know. I don't know what type it is. Probably normal, um, just because bird type doesn't exist. So. Hopefully, Seed Bomb doesn't kill by a crit. Are you kidding? Wait, it's not very effective and it still dies? Okay. I'm going to use Earthquake. Wait, hold on. It's not very effective? Hold on. Let, I'm, I'm going to freaking look missing Noah. Hold on. Okay, so... Yeah, hold on. I just... So... Flying normal. Oh my god, it is part flying because it's freaking bird Pokemon. It's freaking bird type. So, but yeah, hold on. What's its Ivies? What the fuck? It has literally zero defense Ivies. Six special attack, six special defense, 29 speed, 33 each 33 HP, and 136 attack. So its Ivies are ass. Like literally zero defense Ivies. So this thing is, that's why our attacks were freaking killing it. So, yeah, we can't even freaking attack this thing because it just dies. So we just need to throw Pokeballs and hope, hope for the best. Let's see. Um, shoot, you can actually, hold on, wait, 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 wait. 
You, you can actually get a freaking um, shiny version of this. Damn, what the fuck? Oh my god. Let's see. Yeah, hold on. It says it has the highest EV yield, but it literally doesn't. Like, it has zero defense, or hold on, EV yield. It has literally zero defense EVs. Like, we can't even attack this thing or it just dies because it has literally zero defense. Like, let's see, shiny ball. Um, it's not shiny. What, what if we just uh, try to get a shiny missing now? Legendary Mystic, yeah, let's just spam Ultra Balls. I'm not wasting my Master Ball on this thing. Damn it. Sky Attack. Jackbox can take, actually, no, Jackbox can't take it, so I'm going to switch out. That's why I'm like, wait a second, this thing is 136 attack units. Yeah, Jackbox ain't taking that. Um, shoot, no one else can really take it as well. Spicy Ice at least resisted, so let's swap in the Spicy Ice. So, yeah. Crit, yes, and we have leftovers too, so we actually heal, so that's nice. Let's see, bag. Um, yeah, Ultra Ball, um, just throw that, so. Damn it, this is going to take a while, isn't it? I literally can't attack, are you kidding me? That's Water Dump. I literally can't attack this thing or else uh, it dies. Literally zero defense EVs, like, I didn't even know that was possible, but like, no. Only 33 HP EVs, wow. It has literally 210 EVs, like a 210 EVs. Some Pokemon have more than 210 in one stat. Like, I, that's that's hilarious. 210. Oh my god. I want this thing to fire my team. Are you kidding? Crit? Seriously? I'll just, uh, I'll form a store spicy ice. But yeah, I need to catch this thing, so. And it'll be at a part of my party, so. I wonder, oh, wait, hold on. What's its catch rate? Sky attack, so I'm going to heal it now. Catch rate, uh, 4.6. See, I have a 4.6% chance. It's actually higher because I'm using Ultra Ball, but. Yeah, so where's my, uh, shoot, I'm out of four stores? Well, bitch, let's, let's open freaking Super Potion, save Spicy Ice. Oh, no, Spicy Ice is dead. Rip. Oh, shit, no, 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 we actually survived. That's hilarious. So, yeah, let's use, uh, go back to here, Ultra Ball. Damn it. Okay. Let's see. Hold on, what's it's it it literally only knows okay. It literally only knows sky attack and water gun. Nice, we got it. So let's see. Give me that. <laughs> wow, only 500 experience. Pokedex. A lich Pokemon is a one time over time and so damn it, looks like it can't be But yeah, it's flying normal, it's a third time. Uh hold on, shoot. I, I thought my game actually broke, but I was clicking shift. Uh, so what happens now? Oh. Okay, I assume. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can't. Um, oh my god, look at its HP. Look at this fucking thing. Jolly. Look at its. This is what I mean. Two, look at this thing's freaking. Uh, look at this thing's e EVs. Like, look at this shit. Oh my god, look at its IVs. Look at this shit. Glitch. I actually don't know what that ability does. Is it like some super overpowered ability? Wait, what? 100% chance to instantly faint opposing Pokemon when hit by a contact move. Actually? No wonder why it has zero EVs. Because So contact move. So literally, if a Pokemon is only contact moves and it's up against missing, no, it dies. So that's, that's actually hilarious. Oh my god. This thing actually can learn moves, too. Like, I'm looking at its uh, TMH gem list. Uh, oh, my God. It can learn, like, it can learn fly. 
Uh, actually, shoot, Fly's probably, wait, shit, Fly's probably a good move to give it because it's Stab. I mean, yeah, that's why I'm like, wait a second, that's actually probably a good move to give it. Um, shit, I'm going to stack this Missing No. Missing No may be my secret to beating the freaking Elite Four for the second time around. I need as many, uh, as much of an advantage as I can, even if it means using literal, like, Pokemon with just insanely overpowered abilities. Yeah, this thing can learn... Yeah, give it Fly. Fly, hold on. It can also learn Earthquake, and we have the TM for that, so... Uh, let's see, where's... Uh, oh, wait, I'm, I'm going in the freaking... This is the inefficient way. It's TM26. I'm going... I'm wrapping around. Yeah. It's worthless giving this thing any special attacks due to its freaking special attack EVs. Literally, literally, like, th this thing's stats is, like, so, like, we need to look at this thing's stats one more time. Earthquake. Um, again, it can learn, like, Ice Beam, Blizzard, Thunder, uh, Psychic, but none of that shit's useful given its special attack EVs. So what else can we teach it? We can teach it Substitute. Um, but that kind of defeats the purpose of it and its ability, so there'd be no reason to do that. Sword Sands, hold on. It can learn a Toxic. Uh, sure, let's learn a Toxic. We can learn, it can learn Rest. Yeah, Toxic is probably best, just because there's no point in giving it any, like, attacks, so. Yeah, let's see, um, <laughs> freaking Missing No. I didn't even know Missing No was in this game until just, like, less than a week ago. Water gun, like that's useless. Sky attack. Um, where critical hits land more easily. Uh, no point. I'm going to get rid of that just because fly is better. Um, yeah, so missing no learn toxic just because there's no point in teaching it like. Yeah, there's no point in teaching it like. Um, th there's no point in teaching it any special moves. Like there's, there's no point in that. So let's see. Yeah, we can also teach it rest. I could teach it sword stance or substitute. Don't want to teach it substitute because that kind of defeats the purpose of uh that pretty much defeats the purpose of it actually having a of its ability. So like yeah, that kind of defeats the purpose of its own ability. So let's just use uh let's just teach it or I could teach it sword stance, but that doesn't even matter because it's attack. Eevees are pretty good anyway. Well, I guess there's there's no point in even teaching it rest just because it has zero defense. Like if anything, like I, I'm not like hold on, I'm gonna I'll just teach it cut. Like that's why I'm like, there's no point in teaching this thing any healing moves. Like just yeah, I'm just I'll just teach it cut. Because that's the only other physical attack I can learn. To be fair, it does get stabbed, but it's also like there's no point in using it. So yeah, let's <laughs> so stupid. This Pokemon, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, and then no point in Sky Attack. Maybe I should keep Sky Attack. Uh, maybe I should keep Sky Attack. I could use I could use it with a um, what's it called? A uh, well, I guess then no, there's no point because the AI aren't that competitive. If it was a human, well, I wouldn't even be using Missing Note if I against a human. So there there'd be no point in that. Oh my God, this fucking thing. Missing no. Look at this thing's Eevees. Look at this fucking thing. Eight defense Eevees? Are you kidding? Twelve special attack Eevees. Just 63 special, 38 speed. To look at its Eevees. Oh my god. But this is such a cheese Pokemon. Like, you could actually, like, take out Pokemon with this. So, yeah, this is my move set. So, yeah, just, yeah, I mean, yeah, so, sure. Yeah, I maybe I have it, I, well, I have a ton of hard scale, so it doesn't even matter, but I could have it just have sky attack, but don't really see a point in that. Um, it's basically, well, it's like a worse version of fly because you're stuck as opposed to immune, so, yeah, there's that. Um, so, yeah, we're putting this thing, like, we're putting this thing in um this box, so. Well, I mean, shoot, it's not even a normal Pokemon. Like, don't put it in that box. Like, put it in, um, I'm not putting it in the Legendaries box. Uh, 
There's the, oh, sh yeah, I'll put it in this box. Yeah, this, this could be my seat. Oh my God, look at it. It goes above its name. Like literally that doesn't happen for anything. But yeah, I mean, this could, this missing note could be my secret to beating the, or my key to being the elite four and new champion. But wait, hold on, I need to withdraw a uh, cleaver. So that's the last thing I need to do. And then I'm done with this part. This was a very uneventful part. Cause like, I actually did want to go to the dream world, but I did want to check everything. And then after battling Sylvan, that kind of made me realize, oh yeah, there's no real point in going to the dream world. Cause we have like 15 or 20 minutes left. So there'd be no point in that. Um, so yeah, we're not doing that, um, but we will do that in the next part. So we're in Gaia Town. And also just to confirm, I don't think that glitch part of the game exists anymore. So I don't think we can go there. So yeah, we'll just check out. Um, yeah, we'll just check that out. So uh, yeah, Amolga Taxi. Yeah, let's do the Amolga Taxi. So yeah, Q and W to turn the view. Oh shoot, we can. Yeah, just to confirm, that glitch part of the map shouldn't exist anymore. So yeah, here's Dev Island. Um, yeah, here's freaking Bayer and Tom. Are you? Can I not get encounters, please? And I can't even run away from these fucking encounters. Are you kidding? Really? Dude, wait, you still can access that portion of the game. So I thought that would go away, man. Yeah, so hold on. So it's Dev Island. I want to see the name of the other island. So hold on. Oh, shoot. No, that's the Torn League. I want to get out of here, these fucking birds. Yeah, I want to see the other island. Because those are two islands that we can't access um, from the map. Are you kidding? I think I went too far south. Oh, no, I didn't. So yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, so this is, hold on, this is um, Slither Forest. So yeah, Dev Island and Slither, Slither Forest. Hold on, where's the other island? Yeah, so this is the, uh, we'll hit Mist Island too, but those are three locations that, um, and here's Talmor Town. Let's, shoot, I forgot I need to do it at the Pokemon Center. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I, I nearly freaking, okay, wait. Oh yeah, Jackbox got killed, but. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, so those are three locations that we can still visit in the overworld. We won't do them now because I'm basically, yeah, the next part or the next portion will go to the um, dream world and finish that because there's still a the story there. But I did, I basically checked every single um, influential location regarding not only the perfection cult, but um, the timeless and Yaren as well. So those three, we can assume that their stories are kind of wrapped up um, until you know there's some sort of event involving them but for now without any set objective i really do want to go to the um uh shoot i should haunt i should probably buy items nah don't need them yeah for now at least again given again we literally checked every single um place you know regarding the timeless regarding the perfection call and even year and so uh, until we get uh an event with them we can presume that's ultimately yeah, we're not going to be able to, um, we're not going to be able to continue their story, continue any unfinished business until it's a trigger to that. But yeah, given that, in that now there's no subjective, we're going to set up to go to the dream world. So, yeah, back in here. Oh my god. From the beginning of the game, hold on, I don't remember where we go. Shit. Damn, imagine being a part of the Dark Rai cult. Couldn't be me. Just literally the worst cult. Like, you can't join a worse cult. I mean, like, they're the only cult which hasn't even caught their own legendary. I mean, come on. Literally, like, freaking Tain had, like, four legend. Tain and Ruka had, like, four legendaries by the end of the game. Okay, so that's where we're supposed to go. Wait, then where the hell does this top left portion lead to? Uh, no encounters here. So, yeah, wait, then where the hell does this top left portion lead to? Don't know what that is. Yeah, wait, then where does this... Okay, so I think we go in here, though. 
Because I think this is, yeah, this is what leads to the dream world portal. This is the uh, room. And I remember because we got on, we got our master ball down here. There was a platform down there where we got a master ball. Wait, are you kidding me? Is the dream world portal no longer? The dream world portal is no longer here? Are you joking? Wait, what? So how are we supposed to, can we not access the dream world then? Are you serious? I thought the, okay. So then, because clearly we need to go back to the dream world, right? Like, then how are we supposed to access that? I don't know. I'm going to need to look up freaking guides for this game. Because there's still that, that's still entirely unfinished business. There's still so much business left in the dream world. How did we exit the dream world? There was a Hoopa ring. Yeah, there was a Hoopa ring and it was in, um, it was in one of the caves. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish exploring uh, Dark Ride base and then we're going to go find that ring and then re-enter the dream world just because there's still so much unfinished business there. So that's why it's like, that's the, oh my God, these are, and this is all where all the cages were. So, or this is where we were at the literal beginning of the game. Oh my God. Oh shit, there's a Zygarde cell there. Damn, these things are literally everywhere. But yeah, I mean, yeah, so we're going to go find, because yeah, that's how we did leave the dream world, because we could actually enter and exit the dream world at will. However, now with the cave being there, however, now, because again, I do, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's, this is where we were literally at the start of the game. Oh my God. But yeah, with, um, was there something in this room? I thought I saw something here. I don't know. That's just me. But yeah, so again, because I, I just completely forgot because we could enter and exit the dream world at will, but ultimately no one else could. And I was thinking that that was ultimately not supposed to be the case. And that only was just so that people don't get soft locked at the Persephone fight. But um, yeah, so ultimately we're going to go find that cave and then we're going to go re-enter the dream world just because that's where, again, I think that's really where it's implied we go, shit, what was up here? Oh, there's another. Oh, this is where the second dude was sacrificed. So yeah. And oh, that's where no, that's where we got the um dark ride cultist DNA. So yeah, I mean. Damn, I feel like an idiot for coming back here. Because again, I completely forgot that, you know, we've left via the Hooper portal. So yeah, I mean, yeah, that's where we're going. So yeah, that's right. Let's um hold on. So where was it? I think it was. It was at Crossroads, right? I think it was, there was a cave. Yeah, it's this cave that we're looking at right here. So Coral Town, it's to the right of there. And yeah, so let's see, it's to the right of this. So we'll do that. And yeah, no potions, unnecessary. Well, to be fair, once we are in the dream world anyway, we can fly to wherever we were and then continue our exploration of the dream world. So yeah, shoot, we don't have, we don't have freaking waterfalls. So we're not going to be able to um, just get up there. I think we need to, yeah, we're going to need to have to explore the entire cave for that. I think it was literally up there. So hold on. So there's the cave entrance. We, yeah, cause we don't have waterfall. So yeah, so that's, is there another, how, is, maybe there's two entrances. No, so yeah, that is the literal cave entrance. So yeah, we're gonna go back to that Hoopa portal and then re-enter the dream world and then finish off any unfinished business we have there. I probably should have bought potions because I'm gonna be in there for a while. Oh, and let me just, let me use, I'm gonna use a max repel. Give me that. We can also buy stuff in the dream world too. So yeah, hold on, give me that. So can we see the Hoopa portal? No, we can't. And we can't go up the waterfall either. Damn it. So yeah, not even this one. So yeah, we just, yeah, that's kind of the unfortunate reality. We don't have it. So we're going to have to navigate this cave in order to get there. Um, I hope we can reach it because that's, again, besides that, I don't really know what to do with the game because that's besides explore the, you know, Miss Island, Dev Island, Slither Forest. 
But those are ultimately, I think, will be extras more so than actually story related. Maybe there's, I think there's some unfinished business with Yaren, but I wouldn't know how to activate that. Maybe there's stuff at like old bases that we've been across the whole game. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. Um, not a lot of happened, but the missing nothing happened, which is pretty cool. And that could potentially be my key to beating the Elite Four champion. Um, give this thing like a focus sash and then send it in against a physical attacker. And that would, that would, if they only have physical attacks, that could potentially kill two Pokemon with that strat. So no matter how powerful, but I'm going to end it here. So, um, yep. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.